all of us often talk about the need for boundaries, but what does this word really mean specifically when it comes to children? It isn't easy, let me tell you. Here with ways to help set healthy boundaries with children. First time on the show, registered psychologist, Dr. Natasha Williams. So happy to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so we know children like of all ages, from little, little to teens, even to adult children can push boundaries. They can and they do. So how, as an adult, do we define that boundary? It's very interesting because with our boundaries, we define our boundaries by how we sort of encircle ourselves. So how do we place a boundary? What does that mean? What does that look like? Where does our boundary end and where does the child start? And I think that there's several ways in which we can look at defining those boundaries so that they're best not only for the, the children, but for us as adults as well. Okay, so you suggest to make our expectations known. What does that look like? Yes, absolutely. You want to get an understanding. What are your values? as an adult and what do you want to then impart to your children and so for example if your value is going to be loyalty if your value is going to be responsibility you want to make sure that you teach that in such a way so that would look like for example if you have a child that maybe for example wants to go to the movies and and you know maybe you know go after they do their chores so the thing is you want to make sure that it looks like they've done their chores then you take them to the movies but if they they now decide, you know what, I'm not going to do my chores, I'm actually going to go and just play around and not do anything. What it would look like now is like, okay, well, the loyalty or the expectation now is I'm not taking you to the movies at this point. Mm. So you now really have to define those things and make sure that there's consequences to those actions. Yeah, I was just going to say the impact of crossing those boundaries, the right. consequence has to be real and it has to be consistent. That's right. And the thing is, is that we also have to recognize that we're not always going to be consistent all the time because I think as adults we think we have to be perfect mm -hmm. all the time and we want to give ourselves the permission to be human yeah. and that we can make mistakes and when we do don't necessarily hold ourselves accountable per se but what we want to do is to say how do we learn from that mistake so that we can move forward yeah there's a lot of being gentle with yourself absolutely and not beating yourself up about this we all know it there is a struggle to practice this in real life right so how do you do that? How do you get better at this? Well, a lot of times what we want to look at is how do we build our resilience as adults as well? Because a lot of times our boundaries are pushed, sometimes pushed to the limit when we are exhausted. So a lot of times what we want to look at is how do we take care of ourselves to build our resilience? Does that mean you know, engaging in self-care practices, reading, going and making sure we engage in activities that are enjoyable for us and carving the time for that. Now saying all this, it is not easy by any means, but what we wanna do is implement that time so that we can be better adults for our children and our children can see that as an example. Doctor, it's interesting. I'm hearing you talk about like how we're raising our tiny humans. It really is a lot of work at kind of fixing ourselves. Oh, absolutely, because they end up modeling and seeing what we do. So a lot of times it's not just about what we say, but it's about what they see, and that, that ends up being the most important. So you, you talk about all these strategies that work really well, I think, with your own kids, but when it comes to maybe kids that aren't yours, maybe your friend's kids mm -hmm. or your nieces and nephews or, or even kids that you see on the schoolyard, how can you impart these types of boundaries with them as yeah. well? Yeah, a lot of times, it's the consistency. I think that's the thing, because a lot of times children will see which boundaries are consistent with what adult. So I might do certain things or not do certain things with my parents, but then I know I can get away with certain things with my grandparents or with my aunt. And I think what would be important is how do we then look at uh, a script of consistency so that the boundaries that the parents are setting, the grandparents can also hold to as well as the Aunt. So it's being able to have that communication so that there's consistency across the board and that is modeled for the child. Okay, I like these tips. Listen, it was your first time on the show, but I hope it's not the last. Oh, I'd love to be back. <laughs> it's great to have you. <laughs> Thank you. We're hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.